Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mass Video Gamer. Today we're going to go ahead and enable disk swapping on your X station or your mode for the PlayStation 1 if you have a PS1 digital installed. Now, first thing before you even get into the software is the points where you need to solder on the motherboard. Now, I'm going to show you a PU18 motherboard. And again, these are the two points you want to go ahead and solder to. Uh, one is B118, that's up at the top of the board. Uh, and the other one is unmarked, it's near the F. Um, we're going to have to solder to those points uh, and then to the PS1 digital. You're also going to have to sever a trace. I like to sever the one that's near the uh, point with uh, the F. And after you have the two wires soldered to those two points on the motherboard, again, you can use Kynar wires, just using signals. Um, you want to go ahead and have B118 go to WFC on the PS1 digital and the other unmarked spot going over to DAT on the PS1 digital. So you want to go ahead and solder those two points uh, to it. And again, don't forget to cut that trace. After that, you do need to go into X HDMI tools to go ahead and configure the lid switch. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do that now. Uh, first, you want to go ahead and go to the GitLab for Chris2600, who's one of the creators of the PS1 Digital. And we're gonna be using Windows today, so uh, you wanna go ahead and download the Windows AMD 64.tar.gz. Once you download it, you wanna use 7-zip to go ahead and decompress it. And then it'll bring you to this file right here. Go ahead, click it again with 7-zip and decompress it. When you do, you'll see you'll have two files, a readme and xhdmi-tools.exe. Now that's gonna be what we're gonna use in command prompt. So I would recommend putting that in a place that's easy to navigate to. Uh, for me, and for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna navigate it to the desktop. So I'm gonna move that file to my desktop. Then once you go ahead and have that file moved to where you'd like. You wanna go ahead and move to wherever the file is. So in this case, uh, for me, like I said, it's on the desktop. Now, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and add your console as one of these, um, as a console on in this program. So you do wanna to go to X HDMI tools, press enter, and it's gonna give you all of the, uh, you know, different options you can have. Now we're gonna be focusing on I'm adding a console so you don't have to keep typing in your host name and everything else um, all the time whenever you do a command uh, and we're going to go ahead and show you how to download a configure file so in that config file you can go ahead and change uh, how the, the digital the ps1 digital works where you can go ahead and then have the the lid cycle so what you want to do is you want to do x hdmi dash tools console add we're going to call this one psx and then two dashes, host name, that you're gonna go and put in your IP address for your console, and then two more dashes, user, uh, and on my console, it is PS1 Digital. If done correctly, it's gonna ask you for a password, that's the password to your PS1 Digital. I do recommend making it a, you know, not an auto-generated password. Um, so mine is, I'm gonna put that in now, boom. Now we've got it. Now, if you want to make sure that it's selected, all you have to do is actually go to XHDMI tools, console, list. And there's the list of the consoles. Well, there you go. It looks like I have PS1 selected because that's my normal one that I normally use. Um, so uh, now that it is selected, um, and again, you can double check. If it's not, you can do XHDMI, XHDMI tools, console, use, and then in this case, PS1. Boom, and now it's gonna use that. 
So you wanna always start with XHDMI dash tools. That's why if you notice I've been copying and pasting it in, um, cause that's why you're gonna just, you're gonna use it. Um, and so now what you wanna do is pretty simple. Uh, you wanna go ahead and go to config, download, file. Hit enter and it'll say successfully downloaded config to file. Now that file is gonna be in this case, wherever your uh, you have X HDMI tools. So mine's on my desktop, so it automatically put the file on my desktop. Alrighty, all you have to do is go ahead and open the file now. Um, it's literally in this case called file, <laughs> nice and big. Uh, and you wanna scroll down to where it says miscellaneous. Now yours is gonna say extra pins zero. You wanna change that zero to one, just like that. Uh, and that's it. After opening it up in Notepad, you can just go ahead, you know, make sure to hit save, you know, file save or, you know, X out and hit save. And now comes the last part, which is you have to now upload that config file to your uh, PlayStation. So that's pretty easy. All you got to do is XHDMI tools, config, upload, file, hit enter and successfully upload it from the file. Reset your PS1 digital and you'll notice you have a new option that says lid cycle. All right, guys, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.